Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic. And man, in this strange new place, just moved out here and it's kind of different, you know, and, and, and nobody likes me and, and it kind of sucks and I was going to start up season two, you know, and I was going to do these uh, Mattel retro figures, but with Jesse gone and shit, man, I don't know. I think I'm just going to wrap it up, you know, I'm not feeling it anymore. So, you know what, sorry guys, but thank you for everything, and for the last time, Raz Holly, hit the music! Shut up, dude! For a, a stepping stone I went to the sea To see if anything Would find me But all I got Was sand and some floating debris I went to the coast Cause everybody told me That's where I should go But the place I'm from Has come Tongue that's stuck inside of my throat If anyone is here I'd like to speak clearly now If anyone is there Just tell them I'm still around Around, around I went to the coast to see if I could make Same without you. It's a damn shame. Who died, Gorilla? Jesse, what are you doing here? Ha <laughs> ha! And then I told everybody that chewing tobacco would increase their libido. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh man, classic Jess. Classic Jess. Anyway, how did you survive being shot? Ah, oh, it's not important. Anyway, wh where's my couch? Wh whatever, weren't you supposed to start the new season today? You're right, Just. It's about time we started new episodes. But I wonder what's been going on since we've been gone. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Mo Show with your friend, me, Mo. Now, we're going to go ahead and get started, but first, Raul. Play my introduction music. It's almost like he's some kind of a spaghetti noodle. Oh yes! Oh yes! We have a great show for all of you today. We're going to be looking at some very, very, very rare figures. These are, These are extra, extra rare, rare figures. figures. 
I have four very rare Broken Nose Collection LJNs. Never released. Never, never, never released. First we have Brutus. Brutus, look, it's his nose is broken, but it's okay. Nobody chopped it off, I promise. Uh, look, look, the nose is perfectly you can only do that if you sculpt it that way. That is the only way you can get this this Brutus with the broken nose if it's sculpted and that is obviously sculpted and that is that what is makes, makes these, these guys, guys. Very, 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 very rare. rare. And then we also have, you remember that battle that he had where his nose was broken and the snake was uh, tied around his neck? But th that was from a, how you call it, a uh, a, a home home show I don't remember but he broke his nose and this is the broken nose uh, Jacob Jacob or Jacob Rollins Jacob Roland with a broken nose and again see look it was sculpted perfectly on there it has a perfect sculpt it's very very rare this one is probably uh, worth even more because the, it, it's defective it's defective look Look, it's very defective. Both of his thumbs are missing. That that's incredible. It's an incredible find. This this Jacob Rollins is probably about uh, three hundred dollars. So it's very lucky to find this guy. He's worth about three hundred. But if if you want to buy it from me, I you can look for me on eBay. We can call Mr. eBay is uh, my name. You, you can find uh, this uh, No Thumbs Broken Nose Jacobs uh, Rollins figure for uh, only 250. So, so you, you get a deal it's worth 300 plus. Very rare. And then we have everybody's favorite. You got a uh, Hulk Hogan. Very rare, very rare Hulk Hogan figure with uh, and he has the pants. So this is very rare. This is before before he was in uh, in WCW, yes, WCW, yes, this is before that, and he even comes with a broken nose. That's what makes it so rare. I mean, when are you gonna find another broken nose uh, Hulk Hogan uh, with the white pants? Very rare. And now that I look at it, it's defective. He is doing uh, the the Rock's uh, eyebrow. This is a great, great discovery. discovery. Great discovery. Hulk Hogan invented the eyebrow like the rock. This is history here. It's very rare. It's history. This guy is worth five thousand dollars easily, easily, easily five thousand dollars for a prototype uh, Hulk Hogan with rock eyebrow and the white pants. It's a red, white, and blue. That's how you know it's Hulk Hogan. The hair and it, it's Hulk Hogan. $5,000, but you can find it in my eBay page for much less, much less, only $3,000. In my eBay page, just look for Mo, Mo eBay, and you can find my eBay page, and that's where you can find Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan with the white pants and the eyebrow. Very, very, very rare. And then we have one of my favorite and my friend, of course. Oh yeah, it, it, it's it's me, it, it's me. Oh yes, ah uh, yes, it's a uh, Macho Man because he's he's my friend. Oh yeah, I am your friend. Look look at me, I'm your friend. Macho Man, you also have a broken nose. So you're you're very. You're very rare. Of course, I'm rare. I have a broken nose. So, uh, so macho man. So, how much would you say that you're worth? What are you trying to sell me already? Uh, no, macho man. I'm not trying to sell you. I promise. Oh, so I am probably worth five hundred dollars because I have my thumb intact. Is that is that for real, macho man? I didn't know. Yes. Now I'm gonna beat you up. No, oh, no, Macho Man, no, no, don't. Oh, I had to fend off Macho Man. But he's only $500 and he's very, very rare. What's that you say, Mo? Oh, Macho Man, you are my best friend. Oh, yes, yes, I am. 
So uh, I'm going to have to put you down. Why is that? You're not like me. Uh, no, of course, I'd like you very much. Look, l let me just, uh, I got two more guys here that I need to talk about. Well, I can beat them up too, because I am Macho Man. Okay, Macho Man, you, maybe you should take a rest, right? Don't you think you should take a rest? Of course I should take a rest. And I have two more very, very rare figures. Are you talking about me? Uh, no, Macho Man, I am not talking about you. Uh, but I have two broken nose that are defective because they do not have broken noses uh, and you can see that these ones are here are they're, they're very rare because they do not have broken noses but they do have uh, bold spots on the head so you have balding wrestlers we have Nikolai Volkov which is very, very famous, famous where, I, where come I come from. from very famous and then we have we also have Rowdy uh, Rowdy uh, Hot, Hot Roddy Rowdy right here, which is also, also very, very popular, popular where, where I come, I come from. from, and they both have the bold spots, which is very, 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 very rare. rare. These are probably about six hundred dollars each. They cost more than me. No, uh, uh, well, yes, they are, but that's only because they have their noses. Well, I have something to say about that. No, no, don't, don't fight in front of me, macho, please. I am still your friend. Yes, of course you are. <laughs> oh, macho man, you are such a kidder. That is it for my show, The Rare Mo Show. And we will see you next time. But first, Raul, play my ending music. It's almost like he's some kind of a spaghetti noodle. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Get that shit out of here! You know what? It is time to start some new episodes, and not a moment too soon! But first! Okay, so from 2017, here are the Mattel Retros, obviously done in the style of the Hasbro figures. And unlike Jackass Pacific, when they decided to do the box art, look at that, look at the, look at, it's, it's a tribute to the classic box art on the Hasbro figures. It looks almost identical to the previous one or what they're paying tribute to except for this fucking thing right there. I hate this logo. <laughs> I would rather they just not use it at all um, than, than have this with the with the F cut off because there's, there's people today that believe that it was always called WWE. Well, it wasn't, motherfuckers. So let's take a look. On the back, you've got the nice sort of collect them all here. You've got some action with uh, The Undertaker uh, getting tossed by The Ultimate Warrior here. And we started with The Ultimate Warrior um, because when I was a kid, this was my favorite guy. And this has a really good look. So let's take a look and see what it looks like out of the box. Okay, so here he is, The Ultimate Warrior out of the box. And I gotta say, he looks pretty good. Um, he's got, you know, the tassels here on the arms, the, the armbands. He's got the, the growling expression. Um, we'll get back to that in a minute. He's got the green trunks. He's got the, the, the pink knee pads, white boots with the tassels. Um, pretty simple, 
um, as far as things go. Doesn't have any little uh, doodads, what's this, anything like that. No uh, graphics on the on the trunks at all. Um, it's kind of a simplistic sort of look on it. Um, they've done a good job, I guess, of sort of evoking the old Hasbro figures with this one. Um, the action is different. You didn't see this action with the old ones. I guess you, you rest a, a figure up here and you can toss them. Toss them. That's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool motion. It's smooth. Um, it's not like, it doesn't feel like it's going to break in my hands. Um, I'm kind of like the old Hasbro figures. So let's take a look at Series 1 Ultimate Warrior from the Hasbro figures, since I've got them here, we might as well take a look. Now, these were my favorite series of figures of like all time, so I'm going to be a little bit biased toward these. But take a look. This is the Series 1 Ultimate Warrior. Look at the expression on the face here. Just take a look. He he looks like he's growling, just like the, in comparison to the one here where not so much <laughs> not so much with that one and the tassels again these are a separate piece on this one it looks like they were glued on or, or attached on separately these molded onto the figure the the muscles are are super cartoony super deformed um and if you hadn't noticed already the Hasbro figures a little bit smaller than the Mattel figures of 2017 here, these modern retros. These are actually, if this guy was standing upright, he'd be about yay tall. <laughs> so they're much bigger uh, in scale. They're not in the same scale as, the, as their older counterparts. Um, this one, we're taking a look here, you've got the, the ribbing on the wristbands here. Nice little detail in the sculpt. He has a weightlifter's belt on, um, and the reason is it's for his for his action, which we'll look at in a second. But on the butt, you've got the Ultimate Warrior logo, you've got it on the boots, um, you've also got tassels on the knee pads coming down a little bit. This actually looks closer to what the sort of imagination of the figure, the ideal version of the of the character sort of is. As opposed to this, they, they kind of went more for realism here, and but then dumbed it down without any sort of extra logos or anything else on the figure. It's a good figure, but it's kind of blah when you actually compare it to the original. Um, now let's take a look at his action. You have a little peg here on the back. Um, it's molded onto his back, so it looks like a letter T is growing out of his skin. Kind of odd, but you press it down, and he can jump. He can do the he can do the big splash, the big body splash that the Ultimate Warrior was known to do. So, if you want to go new versus old on this one, wait, there's more. If you want to take a look at the pose here, this is actually more akin to this Ultimate Warrior. Um, which was the second one they made and he's got look at this got the the ultimate warrior face paint symbol all over the trunks here on the boots again tassels on the boots ribs on the thing here he's got these molded onto him he's got them all across his butt and the action you, you place a guy up there in his hands and slam him down gorilla press style in the face Arrgh! super intense super awesome and this one when you see it by itself it doesn't look so bad but then when you compare it man there's really no comparison this looks so much better than these new ones okay so next up john cena here he is the five knuckle shuffler himself okay um so here's you know points for creativity we've got same action same kind of pose as the Ultimate Warrior. Um, okay, it's a cool looking figure. Like, it looks like who it's supposed to be. It does evoke the old Hasbro figures. I gotta say though, if there had been a Hasbro figure back in the day of John Cena, or if Hasbro was still making the figures today, we would have, in the same style, we would have a figure that was a little bit more intense, a little bit more over the top, uh, a little bit more cartoonish as far as the muscle structure is concerned. This looks just like 
the ultimate warrior as far as the, the, the chest is concerned. So you gotta believe that they're probably reusing things like hands and uh, torsos and things like that. Um, just as a cost cutting measure, this is something that toy companies do nowadays. Back in the day, it you know, you would see repaints and you'd see things where they would modify something to make a new figure, but like in the same goddamn line? Jesus Christ, what is this, Lenard? Anyway, that's John Cena. He's got his, he's got the same action as the Ultimate Warrior, so there really isn't much more to say about him. Um, he's, he's cool, I guess. <laughs> okay, next up is Kevin Owens. KO himself right there in his gear. Um, it looks like the guy. Um, it's not... He's got kind of a who gives a shit look on his face. He does have his tattoo. Um, doesn't have the tattoo there. So, but you know, a little bit of a signature there. Um, he's wearing all black. Um, as he does at times, this does look like one of his outfits. Um, and and his, what, what about the action? What about the action? Now in the box, I thought he had the same action as Demolition Smash. Let me show you what Demolition Smash looks like. Okay, so here's Demolition Smash, and that's his action. He, you can move it. He does a kind of an uppercut move, so if you want to hit Kevin Owens in the face, Bang! I'll kick your stinger teeth in! Ah! Yeah, look, so there he is. There's Smash. Um, and I thought, in you know, in in body style, these guys very similar. Um, I can almost face off. But again, um, and so in this case, the Hasbro figure bigger than the new figure. Um, they made they made old Kevin Owens really small. <laughs> I guess I guess he is smaller than the Ultimate Warrior as far as uh, WWE canon is concerned. But yeah, pose-wise, these guys are pretty much the same. Um, but that's about where that stops because that's not the action on Kevin Owens. Let's show you what Kevin Owens' action is. He, you pull his head back here, and it comes forward. So you can kind of do like that. You can throw a guy, sort of. Or you can do kind of like like a headbutt. Boom! Big headbutt from Kevin Owens. So it's kind of a cool looking figure and he looks like who he's supposed to be, if not a little bit, um, I don't know, a little boring, a little ho-hum, a little meh, I guess. Okay, next up we've got Roman Reigns. The guy, I guess, um, or has been the guy for the past couple of years. Uh, this is the guy that they're they're pushing hard, and it, you know points for Mattel here for trying um, to giving him a good expression, but more it's kind of like uh, going to the doctor's office, open up and say ah ah ah. Or the dentist even, like oh look at that the the number twelve bicuspid. <laughs> Anyway, so take a look. He's got a lot more detail than any of the other figures in this first series. He's got the, the flak jacket on with all the sort of accoutrement, uh, if you will. Um, got the, the straps and everything. Got the, the molded uh, belt, the molded pockets on the, on the pants. Got the boots. He looks a lot more. I mean, even though the color is a little bit just kind of there, that's what it looks like in real life. He's got the insignia there on the chest. It pops off there, the white on the black. It's very cool. He's got his tattoos that look friggin' awesome, by the way. Got them all right there. I think they do continue onto his chest, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not super um, into uh, whatever modern WWE stuff is going on, so I don't really know um, exactly if that's what he looks like, but I think... I think it does continue. Who cares? Anyway, his action is this. Uh, uh, uh. Got this punch that is pretty cool because it's reminiscent of everybody's favorite figure from the old Hasbro line, um, 
Chico Santana. Nah, I'm just kidding. Get the fuck out of here, Chico. Here it is. <laughs> Shake the Snake Roberts with Damien. Um, this was another Series 1 from the Hasbro figures. Super cool. He's got the detail with the, the boots and the snake on his pants. It is very simple, but you know what? Look at that. Look at that expression with the eyebrow. There's no mistaking who it's supposed to be. And he's got the punch just like Roman Reigns. So, yeah, and even has the, the, the bent arm. Roman Reigns got the bent arm too. So, and if you line them up, I mean, I think in real life, it might be, I don't know. Look at, look at the size of Roman Reigns' head. It's huge. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think maybe if he's standing up straight, he's, he's taller. So maybe, I don't know, they do look smaller. What do you think? Tell me in the comments, are these things smaller? But anyway, that's Roman Reigns. And so far, honestly, even though this guy, you know, some people love him, some people hate him, some people love to hate him, the figure is actually pretty cool. So yeah, I'm pretty glad I picked this one up. Okay, so next up we've got Brock Lesnar. Here he is, the Beast Incarnate. And as you can see, he's got his tattoo, which Raz Holly is quite fond of. He's got that tattoo on his arm, this tattoo on his arm. <laughs> These are all his real tattoos. And of course, um, this big bad thing he's got on his on his back. Pretty cool. Um, these figures are... are you know, a little bit more advanced in a way. Um, you know, maybe not in all ways, but in a way they are more advanced than their their predecessors from Hasbro. Um, in one way, you can move the the head. It's got a little bit of a nod to it. You can you've got a little bit more um, pliability with it. The the plastic is a little softer. Um, as opposed to the hard plastic of the old ones where it's like if you wanted to try to do something with them those those limbs were going nowhere and so let's move on to the action with this one there it is we've got finally an old school action um and it's pretty cool it's more reminiscent of say that ultimate warrior figure or hulk hogan Ha <laughs> ha! Same sort of action. You put a guy in the in the arms and you toss him, toss him away or whatever. And it's easier to do when you're not trying to look through a, a viewfinder to do it. Ah! And so yeah, it's this one's a little smoother because you can move the the limbs around or whatever. I don't recommend doing it with these old figures, but you can kind of do it to move the arms because then eventually you end up with something like that where it doesn't want to work. But, but while we've got him out, let's take a look at Hulk Hogan. He's got a lot of good like little details uh, on the sculpt there, the muscles, the face, that that look on his face. Man, that's great. That is just a, a fantastic expression. It looks like who it's supposed to be. It's got the Hulk rules shirt. This is from that era where you know i kind of first got in um that late 80s early 90s um these were made in 1990 and this is from series one and <clears throat> man these are great you've got the like even on the wrist tape you've got the little detail where it looks like tape it's molded onto the skin with the uh, and the t-shirt as well and you've got the tears in the back and it's a really really good sculpt Hasbro did a fantastic job with these back in the day. These are great figures. But all in all, Brock Lesnar's pretty good. He's a good looking figure. It's a good likeness. He's got kind of a cool expression, like, oh, huh? like, <laughs> kind of, it looks like him. It looks like it's who it's supposed to be. And if you look at the size difference, it's not that bad with this one. Like, he doesn't look like he's bigger than Hulk Hogan. And, um, and he shouldn't because he's not honestly he's not that tall he's not taller than I mean he's big but he's not taller than Hulk Hogan so at least Hulk Hogan in 1990 now today he's probably shrunk but whatever well we started with an old-school guy and we'll finish with an old-school guy here we have the Undertaker in his purple gear and this is from the sort of mid 90s 
Um, it is really cool looking, um, the way that they used that costume back in the day. This figure, though, I gotta say the likeness, not really that close to the Undertaker, is it? I mean, it, you know, when, when you take off all this gear, does he look like the Undertaker? I don't know. Like, you put this guy in just a pair of trunks or whatever, would you know that that was supposed to be The Undertaker? Probably not. But with the hat and the, the tie and all that crap, you can really, you know, you can say, oh yeah, obviously, it's supposed to be The Undertaker. Now his action, he's got the same sort of thing like, all, like Hulk Hogan back in the day. He's got the Gorilla Press Slam. <laughs> that they call a tombstone. I don't know how that works, but hey, whatever. And uh, but yeah, it's got a he's got a cool sculpt, and I you know I'd say as is looks like he's supposed to be. I would have to improve that a little bit more. Would have given him um, red hair as opposed to his black hair. Even on the package, you've got him pictured with his red hair. And that's what it, hair, hairs looked like back in the day. Now, if you wanted to make a modern looking Undertaker, you could have done this and, and given him the black hair like he has nowadays when he comes back from time to time, which he wouldn't. But anyway, um, and he's got a nice little tilt on his, uh, on his head as far as articulation is concerned. Like, you got a little bit softer plastic with this, so it's easier to move the head around. So, yeah, that's kind of nice. It's not a bad figure, and you know, if you're a fan of The Undertaker, I'm sure you dig this figure, but at the end of the day, the old school Hasbro Undertaker figure, which I don't have, unfortunately, I used to have it, but I do not have it anymore, um, has a way better resemblance to the guy that it's supposed to be. Um, this does look like The Undertaker, and it's unmistakable in that outfit, but take the outfit away, it could be anybody. Well, all right. Well, that's it for this episode. What do you think just now that we're back? If I known it was going to be this bad, I would have stayed disappeared, Gorilla. Will you be serious? Anyway, we'll be back next time with Series 2 of the Mattel Retros. Until then, I'm Dan Classic. Raz Holly, hit the music!